learning a lot about type 2 response in asthma from both uh, 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 the clinic but also from uh, research both at the animal model level but also in a human uh, where we're looking at biopsies of airways, bronchoscopic uh, findings as well as sputum uh, markers and we know that T2 asthma is also heterogeneous so it's not only driven by Th2 cells as we used to think Th2 cells are a subtype of lymphocytes that are very important for example in allergic asthma where they can actually influence the release of certain cytokines and recruit eosinophils to the airway. But we also know that T2 pathway can be driven also by innate immune cells, innate lymphocytes. Uh, one of the groups are ILC2s. These innate lymphocytes can actually drive eosinophilic inflammation very similar to Th2 cells. So that is why now we, we, we use the term T2 high asthma rather than Th2 uh, high asthma. Th2 cells are important, but they're not the only ones. And therefore, that allows us to target more pathways with new therapies. Interleukins are very important uh, mediators of inflammation, particularly interleukins that play a role in T2 pathways, like IL-4 and IL-13 and IL-5 are the ones being targeted now by several uh, novel uh, medications or targeted therapies. Uh, targeting IL-5 is important because eosinophilic asthma is a major uh, group of asthmatics uh, who have severe disease. And there are two ways of targeting IL-5. Either you can target the IL-5 itself, and there are two antibodies that do that. Mepolizumab is one, and Reslizumab is another one. And these have now been approved for treatment of eosinophilic severe asthma. Another way to target IL-5 is to target the receptor, or either the alpha subunit of the IL-5 receptor. And indeed, uh, a, a drug called Benralizumab is now being looked at, completed phase three trials successfully, and hopefully in the, f in the near future will be approved for treatment of also eosinophilic asthma. Now, when you go to the other pathway, IL-4 and IL-13, they share a common receptor. And one target, uh, Dupilumab, uh, is a study in development targets this IL-4 receptor alpha, so therefore can block the downstream signaling of IL-4 and IL-13. IL-4 and IL-13 are important effector cytokines in patients with T2 high asthma. And they have several effects, including eosinophilic recruitment, mucus hypersecretion, remodeling. And in clinical trials, uh, at least early studies, suggest that they can be very effective in patients with T2 high asthma especially those with high blood eosinophil at baseline. I think we have to wait for phase three trials to see how they pan out and whether they can be uh, successfully given in patients with, uh, with T2 high asthma. What we, don't, what we don't have right now are uh, drugs that target other pathways like T2 low asthma pathway. There are studies ongoing to look at some of these uh, other uh, interleukins like interleukin 23, interleukin 33, uh, TSLP, these are early in development and they may be beneficial in both T2 high and T2 low asthma, but I think we have to wait for clinical trials to, to confirm this and obviously before even they can get approved for treatment. Mm -hmm.